Sarah from Average Betty here, and I'm making potato cup frittatas. I'm sure you know what a frittata is. It's kind of like an open-faced omelet. The coolest part of this recipe is the potato cup. Not as well known as the World Cup or the Stanley Cup, yet, but certainly more delicious. I'm filling these crispy little potato cups with eggs, but you can fill them with just about anything. Let's make potato cup frittatas. Peel and grate a couple Idaho potatoes, kind of like hash browns. Using a strainer, squeeze out any excess water. You can also use a towel. Toss with a bit of flour, olive oil, pepper, and salt. You can also add other seasonings or shredded cheese. I'm using a nonstick pan for added insurance, but also brush or spray the muffin cups with some oil. Press the potato mixture into the bottom and up the sides to form cups. It's okay if the potato pieces stick up because the cups will shrink a bit while they're baking. And we'll pop these in the oven. Now for the frittata. While the cups are baking, saute onion, jalapeno, and red bell pepper just until they're soft. Now for the eggs. Beat the eggs and add the sauteed vegetables, a splash of cream, pepper, and salt. Give it a whisk and add some cumin, cilantro, and cheese. I'm using queso fresco, which is a soft Mexican cheese. And now for the secret ingredient, a spoonful of green chilies. Take the potato cups from the oven at the halfway point and distribute the egg mixture. I'm topping each cup with half of a grape tomato because they're so cute and it makes them look like little cupcakes. Pop them back in the oven until the eggs are set. And there you have it, potato cup frittatas. These potato cup frittatas are perfect for breakfast, brunch, or even picnics. Serve them with salsa, avocado, sour cream. A frittata can be whatever you want it to be. Get the recipe for potato cup frittatas at averagebetty.com. See you next time. Mmm, potato cup frittata.